Well, hello again, Mr. Taylor. Running through um, Unit Five in our eighth grade Go Math book, talking about properties of dilation now, which is Lesson Thirteen Point One. This is uh, Explore Activity Two. So we've already looked at the ratio perspective um, of what dilation does. Uh, now let's take a look at the coordinate plane and how uh, we would work through with, with with the dilations. So you will explore how the coordinates of a figure on a coordinate planes are affected by a dilation. And remember that uh, a dilation uh, will will affect the size but not the actual shape or the orientation so it's just really an enlargement or reduction and the center of dilation is that particular point that runs to the different um, vertex. In this activity you will explore how the coordinates of a figure on a coordinate plane are affected by uh, dilation. So here they're asking you to complete the table, uh, record the x and y coordinates of the points in the two figures and the ratio of the x coordinates and the y coordinates. So you're going to do this for each one. So you want to look at, uh, I think the author starts with uh, I think the author starts with with a prime. So you want to start here. You know, for example, uh, I see that this is going from left to right at the origin right here, and I see that uh, that's zero and it's going over one. So I see that my a prime, pretty much the ordered pair for it is uh, negative one for x, and if I go up one. 2 and notice it's halfway between that so I would say that that is a positive 2.5 so that's how you want to uh, get those comparing to uh, the actual pre-image which is A and um, and if I start at the origin and I go over 1 2 so I see that that's a negative 2 and of course my uh, y coordinates coming from here up one two three four and that's a positive five so all you gotta do when you're doing your work here is just remember that you put the new which is the uh, image divided by the original which is the uh, pre-image and just to get you started to set that up uh, for a uh, for X right actually because let's let me put these up here so you have a good concept so for X you will have a prime over a so then you're looking at a negative one divided by a negative two which is reduced to a positive one half and in here and then the y you would have 2.5 uh, divided by 5 which is also one half so that's the way you want to do with these record the x and y on each table uh, stop the video and uh, come back uh, well let's go to the table so you can see what it looks like so well, that's the table uh, I put the figure up here it's a little unproportional but you know, not proportional it's a little different but it's still you still can see yet I think I made it a little bigger where you can see the points more easily easier and here you want to look at your a prime uh, your a prime b prime c prime d so you're gonna put your x y x y x y x y for your uh, your um, 
original and I'm, I'm sorry for your image and then for here you want to put your uh, pre-image x y x y x y x y and then you want to put your ratio it says right here that it's your, your prime divided by your uh, original or your image divided by your pre-image you do that both for x and y so you can stop it now get that done come back when you've done okay so now that you're back uh, take a look at the information that you have write a conjecture I mean an educate look at the information write an educated opinion about the ratio of the coordinates of a dilation uh, image to the coordinates of the original figure and you notice they're using this term here which is I think is good because you don't know how you would see that as far as the test is concerned so it could say pre-image or it could say original so just remember that your original is your pre-image so if you keep that in mind oh, got a extra little <laughs> oh, that's a pretty eye. Uh... But anyway, you know what I'm trying to spell. P R E I M, if I can stop, punch, mash the button. Okay, pre image. And then look at number three, which is uh, activity one triangle R prime, S prime, T prime was larger than R S T. So, how's the relationship between uh, the quadrilateral? A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. So if you can remember from activity one, uh, the prime was larger than the actual, uh, uh, should I say, the image was larger than the original. So how is this relationship working out between these quadrilaterals? Is it larger or smaller? And you make that opinion. All right, go ahead and stop it. Come back when you're done. Okay, so what I did uh, is, you know, I'm, I'm getting used to this this little bamboo uh, Wacom uh, board that I'm actually writing on. Uh, uh, let someone borrow my my HP uh, tablet, and um, they hadn't returned it, so. You have to do what you have to do. But anyway, here's what you should have. So for A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime, uh, you should have, for A prime, you should have negative 1 and 2.5. For B prime, you should have 2 and 1. For C prime, you should have 2, negative 2. And for D prime, you should have negative 2, negative 2. Okay? Now, for your vertex or your points for your original, for X, you should have negative 2, Y is 5. For B, you should have 4, Y is 2. For C, you should have 4, negative 4 for Y. And for D, negative 4, and negative 4 for y. So if you set them up like I did here, I took a prime, first I, I did x and y, and I know according to right here it says divide your um, your image uh, by your original or your pre-image. So what I did is I took 1 for x and divide, negative 1 divided by negative 2, and I took 2.5 for y and divided by 5 and what I did when I simplified I got 1 half or in a decimal form 0.5 uh, I did this for all of the different ones all the way down the list as you see here and I still continue well let's, let's keep going with it so for b prime I got x is 2 and 
uh, for my B, I have X is 4, so I set them up as a ratio. For my Y, I have B prime is 1, and uh, uh, B is 2, set it up as a ratio. For C, I have my X, uh, C prime, my X is 2, and my uh, X for my original is 4, set it up as a ratio. And for my uh, Y, I have for my C prime, negative 2 for Y and negative 4 for Y as far as the original. And D, I have a D prime, I have a negative 2 for X and uh, for my original, I have negative 4. And then for my Y, D prime, I have negative 2. And again, negative 4. When you simplify all of these, you're going to get 1 half or in decimal form 0.5. So what should your conjecture look like? Well, it says write a conjecture about the ratios. It's so the ratios are all equal to 0 0.5. So uh, if that's the case, the ratios are in proportion. So number three on this reflection deal, it says in Explore 1, this triangle, the first one we did, the first Explore activity we did, R prime, S prime, T prime was larger uh, than the actual original. So how is the relationship between quadrilateral A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime? How and, and quadrilateral A, B, C, and D? Well, the new figure or the, prime, or the image is smaller. And we'll get into details here shortly of why and what we call those when they are smaller or larger. Okay, so pretty simple. Uh, took a little time here to make sure you understand the math in this, but I think you'll be fine. Uh, just make sure that you remember you're looking at the new over the original or the image over the pre-image, however way you want to uh, use that as far as vocabulary and uh, simplify your ratio. Always make sure you simplify it to the lowest term and you should be fine. This is Mr. Taylor. Have a good one.